203,000 of y'all motherfuckers. There are 203,000 of y'all motherfuckers. Thank you. Um, we're going to do a really in-depth makeup tutorial, which is probably going to take two videos, and they're the three minute long ones, so buckle up. Okay, I got one in. I have to do the other one. I'm going to put in eye drops because I don't want to do it after my makeup, so. So recently I've been using the Milani Perfect Conceal, Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Normally I'd moisturize with the e.l.f. Holy Hydration, but I do not have that with me right now. I accidentally left it in Kansas. So this is the Maybelline Age Rewind, and it's nice. Um, I'm kind of like venturing off and exploring new makeup products. I love the e.l.f. concealer. I used to use it as a foundation and concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liner. I live by this. I swear by this. This is my holy grail. This is... Ah! So of course I goofed up and it didn't actually record me doing my eyebrows. But I follow the top of my natural brow out and then I get this little point and I bring it up to it. That's that's about it and I copy it on each side. This is the contour that I use. I'm borrowing it from my friend. It's a Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty cream contour. I like to take some on my brush and then put the excess on the lid just to, you know, fix it. So instead of dipping back into that, I just go back to this so I can pick up the excess. And for all my people with a round face, this is key. Do not forget this. I also like to contour right here in front of my ear down to the edge of my jaw. And then I get that line and I follow that there and I do it on the same. I like using this flat top fluffy brush in order to do my nose contour. And I just try to find the side of the center of my nose, make that line. and. I know it looks kind of silly right now, but I do try and blend it up in, into my eyebrows. I don't know who lied to you, but you can use eyeshadow for everything, my love. Everything. I use it for blush, I used it for contour before, I use it for my eyebrows, everything. Even my lipstick. So with this uber fluffy brush, I'm going to go in to this orange shade, actually, and a little bit of mix of this. And I'm going to place it up here, like all the way up here, up in my eye, and on the other side. Really drag it down a little bit and bring it up. Go, so, Lindsay, your eyebrows aren't done. I know. I just needed that for the contour line. So you're going to get it. Before I was really so cut off, eyeshadow, and you're going to fill in your eyebrow. Okay. And then you're going to get black, and you're going to blend and fill in. Don't cover the purple. Just fill it in. Blended. Not blended. See? All right, this is basically my base complete. Let's go to part two. We're gonna start with the e.l.f. HD powder. I'm taking it on a beauty blender and I'm just going to go up here and lightly drag that down. I'm just gonna sharpen that line. It's just how I clean it up. And then I just try and set the places that I need to set with it, you know? I just realized that I have no idea what I'm going to do for my eyeshadow that we're doing graphic liner. All right, we're winging it. I'm just going to take this super light purple and buff it out. I don't know if you can see it, but I like to follow that line under my eyebrow and basically make a wing with my eyeshadow. This is just a cheap LA Colors marshmallow eye light, eye pencil, crayon thing. I like using it in the inner corner before I put eyeshadow on top of it to make it like pop. See? Right. I'm gonna take these two uber shiny ones on this brush and I'm just going to... Sparkly. Taking this betrayal shade, I'm going to put it in the center of my lid and blend that in with it. I'm going to take this one on the same on the same brush. And I'm going to follow that wing that I made earlier and bring it up and just so you can see the slight difference. These are my water activated liners. Um, I have two duo pots and the singular white pot which I use all the time. And that's what I'm going to use with this really tiny, tiny brush. These are the Suva Beauty Hydro Fix FX. Liners? I don't know. So ignore that that's going to be okay, but that's basically the shape that we're going for. And you're just gonna take a little bit of water on the brush, mix it up a bit, and then basically like an underwing. That line doesn't matter because I'm just going to outline the bottom of it with my black line. Alright, so since I don't have purple liner, I decided to mix this pink and this blue right there. can barely see it, but I'm going to underline it with this. See? And then you're just gonna fill that in. How am I gonna refer to this? Ah! I kinda did it! 
And then we're gonna put on highlight real quick. Um, it's not the last step. We're not done yet, I promise. Just on your cheeks though. With that purple liner again, we're just gonna, a lot. All right, as you can see, there's a bit more than just purple going on, but you get it. You remember that black eyeliner that I was telling you about? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna use that too. So you're gonna get some black eyeshadow on this flat brush and you're just going to pack it right underneath that waterline. False waterline. Then with a fluffy brush, you're going to get that same black eyeshadow and just fluff it out a bit to give it some depth. Bottom lashes. And ta-da! That was lame. Anyway, if you stayed this far to the end, I do have some news. Since we hit 200,000, I'm releasing an OnlyFans.